Hey, what's going on everybody? Brando Free to Play back on my Might and Magic Heroes Era of Chaos Free to Play account. And it's been a while since I recorded a video. You guys can tell just by my power, my level. I have been playing this game quite a bit, kind of pretty much daily for the past couple of weeks. Uh, now, before I get any further ahead, I do want to say this video is sponsored by Ubisoft. Now, this game is available now on the App Store. So if you click on the link in the description below, it should take you to the download page. Um, go ahead and try the game out. I know that I enjoy the game. You might enjoy the game. Uh, definitely a nice change of pace compared to other games that I have played. Um, there's a pretty, pretty good amount of stuff to do. Um, and as you can see right now, I am at full energy, but uh, I'm not going to go ahead and use that in this video. Uh, for today's video, I'm going to be going through the campaign. All right. Now, campaign is pretty simple. You can, uh, it's pretty much 15 stages that you can complete. Let me go over the rules really quick. Um, it says campaign is a hard instance. Lords will face all kinds of opponents here to fight for great rewards. Uh, collect treasure maps to search for your artifacts. So you can here you can get uh, artifact pieces. You can get uh, some gold. I believe some experience. A lot of little goodies here and there. Uh, and also it gives you something to do. All right. Uh, general rules each uh, you know campaign round as we call it you can do it once a day or reset it um, depending on your VIP level which by the way Ubisoft definitely needs to change to allow free-to-play option to increase the VIP level just saying that uh, you pretty much get 15 rounds uh, you complete them all uh, the stages reset uh, you can do it manually once if you're a free-to-play player at the moment and uh, it'll reset daily okay uh that is pretty much it everything else is pretty standard right um yeah it's kind of like regular stages where you can um just go through and pass them right for me they're pretty simple right um, also, one of the other cool things about campaign is once you've completed it once, when you refresh, you can sweep the first about maybe 10 stages, which is actually pretty cool, right? You, you see the sweep option. And here it tells you how much gold you're going to make, how much hero coins you're going to make, um, and also who you're going to be going up against, their level, and you know so on and so forth. Uh, but I don't want to go ahead and bore you guys with all of these right i'm gonna go ahead and just uh sweep what i can and then complete whatever i need to complete all right so here it is uh some of the chests like you said like i said it gives you a nice amount of rewards all right and they are pretty simple as you guys can see here as long as you're level 30 something and above you shouldn't have too much of a problem all right so we got treasure map I need to get over there before I can dig that up. All right. I need, and, and the thing that I've noticed about the treasure map, you don't need to have all seven pieces. You need to have about five before it actually comes up and says that you can actually claim that treasure chest reward. All right. Uh, um, I still haven't really um, fully understood the difference between intelligence and knowledge. So I'm just going to go for intelligence. Uh, let me know in the comments below if uh, you guys know uh, more in depth what that is. Because <laughs> I know I haven't really done my homework on that. I know about Brando. But I'm getting there. Also, you get uh, this uh, cast stones, which are used to upgrade your artifacts. Pretty good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and claim some more. This is pretty simple, right? Seems pretty, pretty simple so far, right? Because I haven't actually, because since I've already completed all these, I can just sweep it and it's free gold, uh, free items. And just, it's just a whole bunch of good stuff, right? Sweep, 
Here is a treasure chest. Let's dig that up. And what do I get? I got one shield of the yawning dead. Sweet. I will take it. Let's go ahead and open for free. 27. Open for free again. 21, I think. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and sweep. Chest. Ooh, I got 200 that time. Nice. Can I sweep this? Yes. I think I can sweep the first 10. And then from here on out, I have to uh, play the actual game. Yes. I no longer get that sweep option. All right, so here are what I'm going to be going up against, right? Tells you uh, the, hero, the, the units that I'm going to be facing and also the hero that's going to be on the opposite side. Let's go ahead and beat this thing. All right, so let's see how I am going to position myself. Okay, that is fine. That is fine. Yes. And I think... Yes, I think that's good. I'll place him over there, and let's go ahead and get this battle started. Oh, I need to change the hero. I haven't leveled him up. Ugh. Eh, it is what it is. I should get through this with no problem. Oh, and by the way, I now have two SSR rated heroes. Uh, they're both really, really powerful. Let's go ahead and do that there. And I should pretty much just face roll this. I don't really need to heal anything, but I'll heal just in case. I definitely would not. Uh, oh, good. I didn't. He didn't die. Oh, I did lose one. That sucks. Who did I lose? Oh. Oh well. That is uh, unfortunate. And also, one thing that you're gonna notice if you lose a true a unit, you cannot reuse him he's gone right that is one of the things that i do find pretty unfortunate but it is part of the game so i am not that upset about it right it is what it is right all right i'll move him over there and i'll swap these out all right let's go give this a shot Oh, and I didn't swap out the hero. Darn it. <laughs> I always forget to do that. And I have to admit, the devil hero, he is freaking amazing, dude. Like, seriously. Amazing. Amazing, amazing to have. All right. Hopefully, nobody gets taken out this round. Looks like these guys might be taken out. I hope not. Hopefully, I can heal them. Come on. Come on. Ugh. No, they got taken out. Oh, well. It happens. Let's take a look at the stats. MVP, Devil, Orc, and Gog. All right. Now let's go ahead and collect. Let's go ahead and do that. Now I lost a tank, so I need to replace it. I will use this guy. Let's see who I'm going to be going up against. Okay. I will move her up to there. And I will move this up here. Actually, no. I'll keep him there. Change my heroes. I will put in Catherine. Let's give Catherine a go. Now the reason I'm going to be using Catherine is because I've uh, pretty much, I believe I have maxed out her ultimate ability, this one right here, her Froze, her Frost one, uh, for the level that I am right now. So it's going to come in pretty handy right now in a couple of seconds once I actually use it. Alright, right there. Let's see. 151,000 damage. That is actually very, very good. All right, good, good, good. Nobody seems to be dying, which is amazing. Once again, Devil, my MVP, with uh, quite a lot more damage than everybody else. All right, nice, 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 nice. 
Now, guys, if you guys are lucky enough to get uh, the devil, he is amazing to have. Definitely, hands down, one of the better units that I have seen in terms of just damage output, right? He can put out a ton, and I mean a ton, of damage. Like, no joke. A lot of damage. Alright, so let's see here. Okay, I think I am good to go there. Let's give this a go. And also, one of the cool things about the Devil is that he teleports at the beginning of the round and pretty much just uh, tries to assassinate the back line. It is freaking awesome when he does that. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. He is just hammering away at the back line. Let's go ahead and help him out there. Deal some damage. Nice. Look at all that. Look at all this damage that's going on. Look at it. Oh, I lost somebody. No, that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. I lost two people. Three. What the hell? How did that happen? Who killed me? I didn't even see that. What the hell happened? Oh, the Pegasus probably. Oh, well. It happens. It happens. I'm not mad. <laughs> And one more round to go. Let's see if I can complete it without my all-star. This is going to be an interesting battle. Interesting. Very, very interesting. But it should be pretty straightforward. Especially since I can use her. Let's see. Perfect. Okay. And I can also... Let me move him up. Let me move... Let me put him there. Okay, and let me also put an archer right there. I think I am good with that setup. Let me take a look here. Yes, I should be good to go. Let me just double check. You know what? I'm going to put him back here. Yeah, I am happy with this setup. I will do that. Let's go ahead and get this done. <clears throat> All right, fingers crossed. Let's see if we can do this. Come on. All right. Let's do that. Let's increase the attack. Okay, let's do this. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, come on. Good, good, good. Let's deal some damage to their back line. That was a lot of damage. Okay, let's do some damage here. And let's go and look at that Naga in the back. Just whacking away, whacking away, whacking away. Look at that. That's a pretty, pretty damaging skill right there. She deals quite a bit of damage uh, on her own. All right, uh, this time our MVP is... Efreti, followed by Naga. Let's take a look at what his most powerful skill was. It was Firestorm. I do have it leveled up to level 5. While Naga's Blade Dance is level 6. But it, hers doesn't trigger as often as Firestorm does. Which is kind of unfortunate. If her proc went off more often, she could do a ton. And I mean a ton of damage. Alright. Blizzard, I used it two times for about 400,000 damage. That is not bad. Not bad at all. And there it is, completing the uh, last uh, stage. And as you guys can see, I no, I can no longer reset. Right, My chances are maxed out for the day. And I have over 2,000 uh, coins, ch um, campaign, ooh, excuse me, campaign points that I can use. Now, normally I buy a Freddy tokens, right? And then I refresh and then I buy them again. So for me, since I could complete it all and I normally get around 2,000 um, a day, right? I can get about 10 medals every day for him, right? So there it is. 
So it, it's not going to take me super duper long. It's going to take me maybe a couple months to level them up to six stars. Uh, but it is going to be a daily grind. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, please try the game out. Click on that download link down in the description below. I'll, I would highly, highly appreciate it. Until next time, guys. See ya.